Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see what are modern ciphers. So till now we were talking about traditional ciphers, right? We saw that uh, it is encrypted by text, uh, character by character. We saw substitution ciphers, additive ciphers, and uh, all kind of things. Now we'll look at modern ciphers. What is the difference between traditional ciphers and modern ciphers? The main difference is that traditional ciphers um, make ciphers out of text files and text data, I mean characters, but modern ciphers work on the basic basis of bits. Everything it's everything is bits for a computer. So um whatever job it is doing, it is doing in terms of bits. The encryption is also oriented more towards bits. In modern ciphers, there are two categories block ciphers and stream ciphers block ciphers are something which encrypts a block of data together and stream ciphers what is a stream basically stream is something which flows right so we say it is a water stream it's a stream of jet it is a stream of air something like that so when data keeps on flowing there will be a, a encryption box and it will continuously uh, encrypt so those are called stream ciphers all right we'll see in detail what it uh, not much detail but we'll see what it is and we'll see block ciphers also now we'll have a look at uh, different types of block ciphers mm, yeah these are pretty important in terms of uh, data encryption standard which will which we will learn in the next video so yeah we'll learn these things first of all how can we encrypt a data let's say um we want the number 15 to be encrypted okay what is 15 in binary it is one 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 all right so we want this 15 to be encrypted somehow right so what we do is we take a block with how many ever bits you want here it is we'll take four bits this is first bit second bit third bit and fourth bit so here we'll pass an input of one one or let's take a smaller number that will uh, provide us variety right so we'll take the number of 12 12 is um yeah uh, what is 12 in binary 12 2 6 2 oh, 0 0 3 0 2 1 0 did i do it correct um, yeah here i just don't have any yeah it is 12 is i'm still feeling something wrong yeah, if I divide it by 2, I get 6. Um, I divide it by 3. I divide it by 2, I get 3. And, and I divide it by 2, I get 1 and 0. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that looks good. I mean, it is 1, 1, 0, 0. So, it is... Uh, this is fourth place right so 2 power 3 8 8 plus 2 power 2 4 8 plus 4 is equal to 12 so that's for binary of 12 so we'll pass in this now what happens is we can encrypt this in in many different ways right we can encrypt this, this in many different ways now uh, let's uh, talk about an encryption method called permutation box permutation box so that is called a p box so p boxes are wired in such a way that these are all electrical inputs right these are high inputs and these are low inputs these are wired in such a way that you can uh, shuffle these bits around you can shuffle them in any way i'm shuffling it in this way this shuffling is the key okay that is the first bit is connected to the third bit the first second bit is connected bit to the first bit Th this is the key now what happens is this input comes here this input comes here 
this goes here and this goes here now what we get out of this is 1010 zero, one, zero. what is this this is um this is 2 and this is and this is um 2 power 3 8 so this is 10 so 12 when encrypted using this permutation box gives us 10 so this is one of the ways of encrypting uh block ciphers of uh, this is one of the ways of encrypting binary data all right the first is p box we'll see something else called s box s box means substitution box what substitution box is we have the same inputs we have four inputs and we have four outputs now what we do is we define a predefined algorithm saying that if one comes in pass in 10 if two comes in uh, give the result of 7 or three comes in give me an output of uh, 12 this is random this is the key here now let's say we pass in um, and we predefined that if you given 12 give me 5 now what happens is there is an input of there is an input of uh, 12 the 12 goes in and it comes out as 5 in terms of binary so this is 2 this is 4 so we have 1 in 4's place and 1 in 1's place so this comes as output we don't know what happens here but something happens and this thing comes out so this is called a substitution box we can also have XORs now let's say you have the same box here um we have four inputs and what you do is you xor it with some predefined key this key you can supply in most cases let's say we xor it with um 0101 zero, one, zero, one. okay so an input comes in 12 and this is xor with 0 1 zero one now uh, if you xor it uh, zero and one is one one zero one so we get this out of the binary so we can also use xor the thing about xor is this process is uh, completely reversible right also the all these processes are reversible you just have to um, invert this i mean this goes here and this comes here that is, you just have to tilt the uh, box and you get the original thing out of it. The same for substitution box. If you uh, if you reverse the direction, you get the original thing back. In terms of XOR, if you XOR the same thing with this, l let me show you. Um, yeah, we have the same box. Four inputs. Now we input the encrypted key. We, we give the en encrypted cipher as the input 1011 one, one. and what we do is we XOR it with the same key 0101 one. what we get out of this is there are four outputs 1 and 1 is 0 0 and um, what is this 1 and 0 is yeah, here it is 0 right 0, zero or 0 is 0 so here it is 0 so 0 or 0 is 0 and 1 and 1 um, yeah, here, here we pass in 1 yeah here we pass in 0 right 0 0 or 1 is 1 and 0 or 1 is 1 we get the original output back um, yeah that's how we reverse this box we can also uh, call the yeah uh, that's basically uh, some of the examples of modern ciphers this uh, permutation box this can be um, of three types it can be it can be of two types actually it is of three types it can be either compression p box expansion p box or the same p box that is if the input and output have the same number of bits same number of bits then it is a uh, normal p box if the 
output has lesser number of bits then it is called a compression p box and if it has the output has a bigger number of bits then it is called an expansion p box all right so that's it for uh, some of the examples of modern ciphers now we'll look at something called stream ciphers stream ciphers are uh, very close to block ciphers only the difference of the fact that the block size is really really small so um let's say a stream of data comes in and you you predefine blocks let's say eight bit blocks you 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 encrypt a, each eight bit block you each eight byte block some block size if you encrypt the block together it is called a block cipher and if you encrypt very small portions of the block then that is called a stream ciphers stream ciphers um uh, yeah stream ciphers are also used in some cases but it, that's it for modern ciphers we'll quickly recap it once um the difference between traditional and modern ciphers is the modern ciphers works basically on bits not on text um then there are block and stream ciphers the basic difference is that in stream ciphers the block size is really really small and then we looked at something called uh, three types of a uh, few types of block ciphers permutation box in which the wiring is done in such a way that the bits are shuffled around then we also looked at substitution box which has a predefined uh, algorithm kind of thing where one number is substituted with another then we also looked at a uh, xor box where uh, the input is xor with a key and we get the output back all right uh, that's it for this video in the next video i'll meet you with des all right thank you